Elia Shakoda has been battling recurrent kidney cancer. You can see on the left, there's no kidney. In 2004, his left kidney had to be removed. An engineer who immigrated from Europe, physically active with a loving wife and two boys. Last year, he got the worst possible news. A completely unrelated cancer appeared in his remaining right kidney. Uh, I mean, I was always uh, enthusiastic regarding my health and uh, my life, you know. But this new about that cancer at uh, uh, my right kidney, uh, that news really hits me. Ilya was worried about losing his only remaining kidney, meaning a life on dialysis or a kidney transplant. But doctors at UCLA hoped they could spare Ilya's kidney by performing advanced robotic surgery. The robot was largely pop popularized by prostate cancer surgery as well as heart surgery. And more and more now, the robot is being applied to partial nephrectomy or removal of these, these kidney tumors and to spare more of the normal kidney and therefore extend normal quality of life while at the same time safely removing the cancers. It's news for me that it's, uh, that it's possible to remove the cancer and the, uh, that kidneys stay in working condition. The location of the tumor deep inside Ilya's kidney made the robotic procedure challenging. There are uh, potentially fatal complications that can happen because of the large amount of blood that the, the kidney receives and the fact that we need to dissect around these blood vessels that go into and out of the kidney at the time of the surgery. Dr. Hu employed ultrasound as a sort of GPS to guide them. The experience of the surgeons and the precision of the robot made the operation possible. A lot of tumors that would probably uh, not be possible to do via a partial nephrectomy. Certainly via a minimally invasive approach. The robotic uh, assisted surgery has allowed us to do that. Having been through traditional kidney surgery a few years earlier, Elia was surprised by his condition the next day. Uh, I thought that nurse must be mistaken. <laughs> but uh, she was waiting for me to move. Uh, I said that is going to hurt, <laughs> but I will try. And uh, I tried and that was easy. You know, I said to myself that this new experience next uh, morning, I was able to go home. Today, Ilya's cancer is gone, and his doctors at UCLA will keep a watchful eye over Ilya to keep it that way. I was confident that at UCLA I can find the help. These people really worry about you, you know, not only about your disease, but how, about you as a person. I don't worry now about my future.